Hi, welcome to Welcome Home Custom. Today we're going to be learning how to assemble our four in a row board game. First and foremost, you're going to want to cut out your file. When you open the file, you'll notice that I have it in four different formats for different lasers, but then I also have it in about 12 different sizes. They're all for a one quarter inch wood, ranging from 0.18 up to, I believe I have it at 0.23. Those numbers will, will correlate with the last three numbers in the file. So 180 will be 0.18 inches, 0 0.205 will be 0 0.205 inches. That is referring to the size of your slots. This is not taking into account kerf. So you cannot measure your wood with calipers and then know what size to use because everyone's kerf is different. So you're gonna either need to pick yourself up a kerf tool, kerf a measurement tool. They're available to purchase and also for free online. Um, I can link a couple in the description below. Uh, or you need to figure out the kerf of your laser and then subtract your kerf from the, the file slot number. So that's number one, figure out which file you're gonna use. We're gonna need some glue, mostly for the decorative pieces. If you cut your slots tight enough, you won't need to glue the slots. You're gonna want some clamps uh, and then a hammer or a mallet to help you pound in slots if they're tight. And then stain if you want it. I ended up staining the second one. Um, the first one I made, I actually used uh, Smoky Hill wood in walnut and sapelli. I'll link their description in the uh, comments below as well. It's really beautiful wood. It's thick uh, and it cuts beautifully. So I highly recommend them. For the video today, we're gonna to actually be using Pure Bond Maple, which for me, I always find that Pure Bond Maple, uh, the 195 file always seems to work perfect. So that's what I cut is 195. First thing we are going to do is let's go kind of through the anatomy or the all the pieces of the file itself. So we've got the box, which is gonna be the sides, front and back, and the base. We've got the checkerboard pieces itself. We have two. Uh, we have the insert that goes in the center. This gives your checkers a place to rest as well as the actual board game to, to nest in. We've got all the connectors for the board game itself. Okay, so the files that are listed as decorative, those you should use 1 8 inch wood. You do not want to use 1 quarter inch. The file will not work with 1 quarter inch. It is only there to cover up your slots. It is not uh, any sort of structural integrity to the game, uh, but if you use one, uh, 1 quarter inch, it will be too wide and it won't fit in your base. So please keep that in mind. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to assemble the box itself. We need to put the sides on first. So I find it's easiest just to set it up on its side like this and insert my slots. Okay, we can flip it over and do the same thing. Insert my slots. Now we turn it on its side and we've got these U shapes. They're gonna go in front and in back. This we might need to use our mallet. Just give it a little tap. Make sure you're lined up. I think my wood's a little warped. There it goes. Oh, yep, my wood is warped. There we go. Okay, now we do the other side. Line it up. That side might be 
great. Okay. So there is your box. Okay, so now that part is done, we're gonna go ahead and grab these uh, inserts that go on the sides. I only um, stained the scored side. If you can see that side is scored, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do is you've got this piece right here. We're gonna wanna insert, insert this piece on either side like this. Then from here, we are going to insert it and let it just drop. And we are going to insert into the slots that are provided in the box. Okay, so now we can put this over to the side for now. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to connect our front and back boards together. First thing you wanna do is make sure that your notches are lined up. So mine are not lined up. I've gotta flip this one the opposite direction, okay? Then we are going to take our uprights and we're gonna insert them into all these slots. I only stained two of them because I only need them really for the front or the, the sides will show. The insides won't really show, okay? So we can insert these. If you didn't get your slots tight enough, then you could add glue here. That would help. I might actually add a little bit of glue. My slots aren't quite as tight as I normally would like them to be. Okay. We just go down the line and insert all of these. Okay. And then we put the other board on top line it up and then I just take the hammer to it lightly and work my way down. There it goes. It doesn't want to line up. There it goes. Some of these are a little warped. Just working my way down. Okay, so now we are connected like so. We can start adding our decorative pieces to cover up our slots. So I used walnut for my base color and then I used a mahogany for my color to go over. All you're gonna do Make sure you have it flipped the right way. One side is a little bit longer than the other. All you're gonna do is add glue to your top. I blot it out a little bit so that I don't have any spots that overrun. Okay, so now I'm going to just lay it down on top. You 
can grab um, a baby wipe or you can use all kinds of different things if you have any glue that runs out a little bit. I had a little spot that looks like I picked up some stain from the other board. Another thing you can do is you can use one of these, the tip, and you can use it to clean up your edges. Okay. So overall, this looks pretty darn good. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over, get the other side glued real quick. And we're going to let this dry. I'm using a tight bond ultimate wood glue. Sets up pretty fast, actually. So let's go ahead and flip it over. pretty good. All right. So that's all glued up. You guys can see that. We'll let that dry. I would probably uh, recommend weighing it down or using clamps or something to that effect so that uh, while it's curing, it's not popping up. And while that's drying, I'm just going to set my other board on top of it. While that's drying, we're going to go ahead and glue our decorative pieces onto the box. So you've got a bigger U and a shorter U. Bigger U will be glued on the front and back. Shorter U will be adhered to the sides. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so my wood's popping up a little bit here, so I'm gonna go ahead and clamp it on the sides. Like I said, we could go ahead and glue on the shorter sides. And those just get added right here. Again, just to cover up the slots. Same with the other side. So this is popping out a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and clamp it. Okay. So the only thing left is the other front. Place it down. See if it's warped at all. It's just a touch. So this time I'm just going to flip it and use my gravity to hold it down flat. Make sure I'm lined up on the bottom. Okay, so let's go ahead and let this dry and then we will uh, put the game board together. Okay, so we are all glued up. Wanted to show you real quick how it inserts. All of these notches will insert into the bottom of your game. And then these tabs on either side hold it upright. So we're just gonna slide it down. And you can play to your heart's desire. Okay? And then when you're done playing, someone's gotten a four in a row, then we can Simply just lift the board and the checkers fall out. If you want to put it away, you just lay it on its side and the lid nests inside of the box. So it gives you a flatter, pla uh, flatter profile to have your box on the shelf. Well guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you found the tutorial on the four in a row helpful. If you like this file and want other files like it, go check out welcomehomecustom.com. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you back here soon. Thanks for watching.